I will quickly take, take you through uh, its key features. Uh, basically, it is like uh, it is a shipping application which helps the user both uh, both create uh, shipping labels as well as invoices. It of course has more features which I will run you through. Uh, the main uh, reason why we've created ShipTurtle is because it has a facility to split orders based the vendors of different products. So it works with, like a multi-vendor marketplace where uh, you can uh, automatically split the orders based the vendors of different products and ship them individually. Uh, it also works for merchants who have a single vendor, of course. Uh, so uh, what I'll do is step one is I'll just do, do a quick run of the application of the different pages out here. Uh, then I will create an order with, uh, with the setting of not having multi-vendor and post that I'll create an order with the setting of multi-vendor. Uh, multi so, okay, uh, this is the dashboard page. Next is the orders page uh, where all the orders from, uh, from the Shopify uh, store uh, get synced automatically. So as you can see, uh, there are these are the order details. Uh, you have different plus symbols out here, which gives more information about the order. Uh, these things get synced automatically. You can add the courier details out here, the dimensions, and also which courier you want to select. And uh, post that, you can generate an Airwebville invoice and email the copy to the uh, to the different vendors or merchant also. The next page is your products page. So on the products page, again, uh, you can sync your products out here automatically and uh, maintain certain masters. Uh, you then have uh, vendors, customers, and uh, different settings uh, in shops as well as settings. So uh, the first thing which we will do is ensure that uh, the multi-vendor tab is off. For that, you need to go to settings. You need to go to company details and make sure this is disabled. Uh, next, which you want to do is look at the tag settings. So in your connected store, which will come automatically here, just go to edit and check the tag settings out here. So basically, if you check this, the taxes will be set in ShipTurtle. We have a product master where you can maintain the tags and HSN for different products. Uh, but if you don't have this unchecked, you will be getting the information directly from Shopify. So for, by default, we will just have this unchecked. Okay, uh, so just confirming this now. Going to the store out here, uh, I already have a order which is created. I'm just going to duplicate this. Right, so when I'm duplicating, I'm adding a discount. I'm also adding shipping. Right, so you can see $327 out here. I'm saving this. And uh, just marking this. Right, order number 1066, $327. $1,066,327. Out here, when you click on product, you can see the different products which are there. And you can see the different customer details. Now, uh, there are two things which we can do. The first thing is we can generate an invoice out here. So if you click this, it automatically takes the same order number which we have. Click on generate invoice. And there you have this invoice, right? Uh, the next thing which you can do is generate a label. So in labels, either you can configure your own label. So out here, uh, I've configured uh, uh, a delivery uh, service provider, which is relevant in India. Uh, but for your testing purpose, what you can do is simply uh, click on the plus sign. Before that, we just need to make sure that there are no errors in the pickup address. So let's just correct this warehouse. It's taken it directly from Shopify. So if I go on settings and I go on warehouses, I can see all the different warehouses maintained out here. I can edit it and you can see that there are certain details which are missing. 
so I'm just going to put the home country out here which is India and the state of Gujarat for example just putting some dummy values here right so now I'm going back here And now uh, before I proceed, I need to just click on this. I need to select one of these integrated carriers. If you have a test FedEx account, you can use it. You can configure it in couriers. I'll show you how in a bit. Otherwise, you can just select one of these, manually put the tracking number, uh, the estimated costs optional. You just save and generate a label. Right, so uh, this is the label. You click here and you can save or print this label, right? If you press on this email button, it will send you this information of the label and invoice on the email which you have configured. So this is the basic uh, utility. Uh, if you have integrated couriers, then the tracking of the shipment becomes automatic. So the shipment will pass through these different stages out here. And depending on the shipment stage, it will also move through these tabs. So, uh, so yeah, this happens automatically. I'll not go through it. There are many filters available. So there's a date filter, there is a channel filter, there's a vendor filter, there's an order number filter. So uh, all these can be used, uh, right? So this is the uh, this is the order. I'll just show you how to add uh, couriers also. So you go to shipping partner, and you go to add shipping partner. You can select the one of the four courier companies which we've got integrated. If you select FedEx, you just need to fill in these details and uh, click save and one of and it will just get automatically generated. Uh, right now, uh, the next thing which uh, I can show you is uh, how to split the vendor order. So let's again go to settings and the settings tab and click this symbol of multi-vendor enabled. Just save this, right? Now, supposing you go to that same order and uh, duplicate it. Hmm, there seems to be some snag here. Hmm, so let's just create this order again. So I'm clicking. Uh, and uh, generating this order So you have order number 1067 created. Now if we go to the application, let's see what we've got. Right, so we had the same order 1067, but as you can see, it's split into different vendors. One, two, three, four, there were four vendors, each having a different number of products. So this product belonged to uh, a vendor called American Girl, which is reflecting here. Uh, this 
had two products of Dragon Ball Z. So basically, this uh, auto split uh, functionality uh, has been uh, kind of uh, coded in the system. And now you can treat each sub order as a separate order and generate its own invoice as well as shipping label. Uh, for that, there are certain settings which uh, we need to uh, ensure. The first thing is that uh, we need to maintain a warehouse for all of these uh, different vendors. Now to access these vendors, for example, American Girl, let's go to the vendors tab. And search for the vendor name. There it is. You can edit the details of this vendor, which is American Girl. Go to warehouses and add a warehouse for this. So warehouse can be the same American Girl warehouse. Contact name can be AG1234. I'm just putting random information. Hit save. So once you have this vendor out here, if you just go back to orders, you can see now that if you click on the plus sign, you will get the warehouse which you created here. If you had multiple, multiple ones would show here. You just click on update. Right. Once you've done this, you can now again uh, generate a label if you want, or you can generate an invoice and just proceed as before. So yeah, thanks for uh, listening uh, to the demo. Uh, in case you have any problems, please do reach out to us. Thank you so much.